can do one or two things. The best thing to do is if it has a sucking response is to try to get it started on a bottle. And this baby does have a sucking response. So what I'm going to do is try to offer it a bottle and see if it will take it. Some lambs and kids have a preference for the type of nipple that they will take. This is an ordinary baby bottle, a human baby bottle, and some prefer that. This is also called a Pritchard teat, and you can purchase those through uh, either tractor supply, you can also get them through lambing and kidding supply catalogs. They screw and fit nicely onto one of your soda bottles or used soda bottle. Now this is not just, this is not always easy to do. There are times when you can't just expect the kid or the lamb to immediately take to the nipple and you may have to work at it. So what I'm going to do is take my fingers and separate the mouth like this. And then I'm going to put the nipple in the kid's mouth. And it seems to be working pretty well. He doesn't quite have the hang of it yet. This is preferable to tubing them, of course. There are a number of reasons why a kid or a lamb might not be able to nurse right away. One of those reasons is you need to investigate whether or not the udder is in good shape. She may be, it may be swollen, she may have mastitis, in which case she will discourage her babies from eating from them. This side of this doe's udder is swollen and sensitive. You can see that she's kicking me when I'm trying to touch it. And she will do the same thing to her babies and not let them nurse. So you need to investigate whether or not uh, there's something that can be done with the udder. In the meantime, you're going to try to uh, offer the baby milk another way. Another reason why they may not suck right away is they may not be too steady on their legs. Some babies, and, and we think this may be due to uh, a malposition in the, in the uterus, where their legs get tangled up and they don't quite get straightened out right away after they're born. Or sometimes there are selenium and vitamin E deficiencies in your flock and you may want to offer some BOCI product to get that straightened out. Now this kid is a little wobbly on his feet and legs and you can see that he's not quite standing straight on his feet at this point.